All right. In the part one of this, shooting 22, 500 yards, we got it out to 200 on my steel gong. And then we had a storm blow in, if you watch part one. So today, should be good to 300. 16 inch steel gong right there, 300 yards. I do have a five mile an hour crosswind blowing to the left. So see how that goes. So this is just part two and uh, we're gonna try for 300 yards without doing anything else to the gun. All right, so I just took a few shots to see where to hold. And I should have brought more ammo. I didn't think this would happen with CCI ammo because usually it's pretty good, but I'm shooting the CCI AR-22 or whatever the heck it's called, 40 grain uh, round nose, same stuff I was using last time. And I'm aiming at clays out there because I was trying to see where I need to hold. If this would focus, it's not going to. Anyways, I got a few clays down there at 300. And some of them, it's almost dead on. Um, completely zeroed at 300 right now. And some of them are hitting a foot low, some of them are hitting a foot and a half low, some of them are hitting almost hitting the clay. So there's not really any left or right variance. So the up and down, I could even hear that uh, a few of them were quieter than the others. So basically having an inconsistency in velocity. So going ahead go ahead and take us some shots because that's all we got today and that's what I'm out here for. But some of them are going to hit the gong and some are going to hit under the ones that are not loaded as hot because there's just too much inconsistency in the ammo and I figured I might run into this problem so we'll probably have to switch to uh, target grade ammo next which I already have some of that so I'll go ahead and make what I can of it today you're just going to see some hit and then some hit low and that's not me that's the ammo Stovepipe. So I wondered if these would feed better in this magazine, but I guess not because I always had problems with these cheap clear mags. Nope, still jams. Mags are junk. <laughs> That's 300 yards with a 22. No fucking jam, these mags are jam. You zoom out? Mm-hmm. Or zoom in, I should say. Oh shit, it didn't load that. Man, these mags are junk. Always had problems with these mags. What the fuck? What are you doing over there, bro? Well, other than the shitty mag issues, so don't know if the phone will pick it up, but I got a GoPro down there this time. 
multiple hits. Like I even rapid fired a few there at the end, and I was still hearing it hit it. So, 300 yards is no problem, and that's with shitty ammo apparently. Let's try 400. All right, 400 yards now. I don't know how much there's really going to be to see. I can't get this thing to focus. Next to that pallet out there. My damn. There we go. That's 400 yards. And I'm having to aim. You can see where that road curves to the left around it, clear in the back. I'm having to aim at that road roughly. Uh, that's how low it is from 400 now. And the ammo is even more inconsistent from there. I was practicing on the hill there. We have some clays on the hill. And some would almost hit it, and some would hit the very bottom of that mound. So that's like a two or three foot difference. So we're just at the limit of the ammo capabilities right now because of load consistency. So I need to switch to match grade ammo or target grade ammo, which we'll do next time. So I can have consistent ammo. But... I'm still going to wing it here today, even though the ammo that I'm using is not up to the task. Just to see if we can hit it a few times. <laughs> Ding. <Yep. laughs> that was a lucky shot though. <laughs> Two. <laughs> that one was just under it. Three. Four. Reload. It's four hits with one miss. It's got the fucking. Let's do it. I heard a ricochet on that. Wind started moving some. All right, hold up. Let me get somewhere I can stabilize this thing. All right. Oh. Two more hits. All right, go ahead. Alright. Let me try. Let me try. Yeah, let me go get my GoPro though. Alright guys, so that was 400 yards. Like I said, I was having an issue with the ammo inconsistency. Um, mini mags have always been way more consistent than that. So I'm guessing that because those are for ARs, they're AR style 22 rifles that they're putting more of a they're putting more of a focus on them feeding reliably than they are with them being super consistent. So uh, mini mags better ammo than that would have less up and down variance. 
Uh, I've never had mini mags do that. I mean, I've never shot mini mags quite that far, but they've always been super accurate and consistent out to 200 yards. So that's it for today, part three. Um, I'm gonna come out here with some match grade ammo. Do 400 again. I will not be satisfied until I get a hit with every shot at 400. Although as good as we did today at 400 with very inconsistent loads, I'm pretty sure that'll be no problem at all to hit it every single shot. 10 for 10, 5 for 5, whatever. 400 yards with better ammo. So then, only one more step after that. We gotta push it up to 500. And so far, still completely unmodified 1022 with a cheap little Tasco $40 scope. Uh, so the only thing that's on there is that 20 MOA riser to so I don't have to aim quite so high that far out. See at 400 we're already aiming way over 10 feet high so like I said in uh, part one it's not quite enough rise but a uh, 40 MOA is hard to come by and they're very expensive. I don't even know if I could find one for a that would fit this or not. Anyways, stay tuned. Part three coming up. It'll be at least 400 consistent, maybe some 500 shots.